Now I'd like to introduce Sam Rail, president of the SGA. Sam? Thank you, Mr. Britton. Good morning, McDonough. I want to welcome everyone, students, faculty, and most notably, McDonough's class of 2011. Today has finally arrived after, after a hectic week of rushing to Staples, absorbing the final pages of summer reading, and shuffling through closets in search of a blazer that actually fits. When I was asked to speak today, I rummaged through my memory, hoping to recall past SGA president's first day speeches. I figured that if I remembered their words, I would have some idea of how to dress all of you. Eventually, I realized that I had probably forgotten the past speeches due to my lack of focus while sitting in the audience. It's hard to pay attention on the first day of school when you're filled with such a mixture of nerves and excitement. So right now, instead of trying to sit still, I want you to look around. Take a minute, look at the person next to you and look at the person five rows behind you and four seats to the left. <laughs> Everyone here has something to contribute over the course of the year ahead. Time and time again, I am most impressed by the new ideas and meaningful contributions that my peers bring to the table. We are a school of rich tradition, but we are also a school open to change and new ideas. Spirit Week and the Holiday Assembly come and go each year, but these events are always evolving with the growing energy of you, the students. So instead of challenging you to a long bucket list of things to do in the year ahead, I ask one thing of you. Stop, just as you did this morning, and look at the people around you. Talk to them. Go beyond your class or your grade. Help those nearby, finding the quirks and oddities and positive traits in one another as you work your way through the school year. Lower school, sit with somebody different on the bus or try playing a game with somebody different on the playground. And middle school, mix up your lunch tables and help out a struggling classmate that you may not have met before. Upper school, go to a random cl club meeting by yourself without friends. Who knows what you'll learn about the people you share the halls of Allen with. We all have heard how strong this community is, but too often we forget that each face in this crowd has an impact on campus life. Have a good first day of school. I wish you all the best. Now I'd like to introduce Margaret Stewart, class of 2015, our middle school representative. Margaret? Today, as I approach the beginning of my eighth year at McDonough, I am reminded again of how wonderful a place it is to be. McDonough has helped me to have seven great years, both academically and socially. Today, I am reminded of my first day in middle school. I had been anticipating seeing my friends, as well as meeting my teachers, everything associated with the commencement of a new school year. However, by the time I arrived, I was extremely nervous. I could barely remember why I had been looking forward to coming back to school in the first place. But moments later, I met my advisor, a wonderful person named Nancy McFadden. Almost immediately, she made me realize why there was no reason to dread my return to school. Like all members of the McDonough community, she instantly made me feel welcome. Later, as I greeted my old friends, eventually made new ones, and received support from my teachers, <coughs> excuse me, I easily assimilated into middle school life. Without Mrs. McFadden's support and encouragement, I would have had a much more difficult time making the transition into middle school. Thanks to her, I was once again reminded of how there truly is no place like McDonough. McDonough is not only a school, but a community with a heart. It is filled with kind, wonderful teachers and peers that are wonderful to be around. These make up the foundation of having a great school year. Each of my years in McDonough has been better than the last, and I am confident that this year will be no exception. To all students, faculty, and members of the McDonough community, I sincerely hope you have a fantastic school year. And last, 
but not least, Kalani Houston and Ben Bavar, class of 2023. Okay. The pre-first, the pre-first class of 2023 would like to welcome you back to school. We wish good luck to the senior class of 2011. This is my favorite moment. Let the school year begin. I get to ring the bell. All right. Before I dismiss you, I'd like the upper school to remain seated after the ceremony. I wish all of you a wonderful year. Have a great year. You are dismissed.